I'm not going to lie to you. I got no I got no plan for this. I got no plan. I'm working on it though. Let me get out a drink of uh, aqua beverage. Oh boy. Okay. Now as you may recall, not so long ago, I showed off a video. Well, I in the video I showed off items that I purchased when I bought a hundred records for 18 bucks. Now, I only showed you 50 because I don't want to bore you to death yet. However, I've got more records to show. I only showed 50. I'm going to try to show 50 now. Next video, I'll show 50 because it turns out there's a lot of records. 50 at a time. They're, they're little single little 45s. They're a little bigger than that. A little bigger. Like that. Okay. My philosophy here is some people say all vinyl lives matter. It's not always true. Some vinyl lives matter more than others. Because now there's a resurgence in the LP. In the long playing, 33 and a third. However, I believe the 45 RPM, which is my original in induction and abduction into music, it has been vastly ignored. Unjustly, perhaps... Not unfairly, I don't know, maybe... Anyway, ignore it. That's why I'm going to show you off some of these, show off some of these records to you. You decide, America. Thumbs up or thumbs down. One of those two on this video. Let's see what I did. I tricked you. Okay. Now, the thing I don't have, which I had last time, is my flashlight which makes it impossible for me to correctly identify the labels of these recordings. Dumb. I'm kind of dumb. Sort of dumb. I'll be back. I want you to just observe. See, I left, but I returned. You were good, weren't you? Well, maybe come out there. Okay. Records. This is Travel and Kind Big House. Nope. Big House is the name of the group. Faith on one side, Travel and Kind on the other, on MCA Records. Don't ask me anything about that because I've never heard of it before, just this moment when I saw it for the first time. Don't know. i to make some space here. I'm going to have a pile of records crashing down. Okay. Carlotta Valdez, Private Helicopter. That's on uh, Slash Records. Other side, Flagpole Sit Up by Harley Harvey Danger. Famous 1980s, 97, 98 hits. Probably the censored radio cut. Don't need that, or do we? Deck Records. Red Atkin, Atkin, Aikens, better than it used to be, and Red Aikens, I'm finding out DECA, but an unusual DECA label that I'm not entirely familiar with. The later DECA records. Okay. Uh, okay. Your Move and Paradise. 
by a band called Change. That's on Atlanta, Atlantic Records. I've never heard of that. Mala Records, Mr. Bus Driver by Bruce Channel. And It's Me by Bruce Channel. I don't know anything about this. Mala Records. I need some better lighting, I'll admit it. I live in the dark like a like an elf. Not even daring to leave my front door to quest for a ring with a weird wizard and a lizard guy. Okay, this is Paramount Records. Ray Charles, Born to Lose. And I Can't Stop Loving You. This is a these were former jukebox uh, records, if I can believe what I'm told. And I so rarely can believe what I'm told. 18 bucks for 100 is what I paid. It's a good choice, bad choice, don't know. It's cheap though, 17.9 cents per record. All right, gotta go to the Fay do do by the four lads and Harmony Brown by the four lads that's on Columbia MGM Records presents Turnaround Boy Lou Douglas and his orchestra and Caesar's Boogie by Lou Douglas and his orchestra. These are nice. These are some really nice, what appear to be original sleeves. Hey, right, Decca Records. Alone and Forsaken by Bill Dan Darnell. And Lonely Wine by Bill Darnell. Decca. A lot of these guys I've never heard of. Don't know, don't know. It's an adventure. Every day an adventure. Hey, right. Dan Fogelberg, Times Like These, and Leader of the Band. Uh, amusing trivia about Leader of the Band. I hate that song. I think this kind of trivia is going to come up a lot. John Fogarty. Old Man Down the Road. Now that's a good song. John Fogarty was literally sued by his own record, old record company, Fantasy Records, because he sounded too much like Creedence Clearwater Revival. He had to go into court and testify against himself. No joke. I don't think he won. I don't know. Maybe? Don't know. It's only been 30 years. I don't I didn't really research the verdict. I was in high school at the time. Hey, Dan Fogelberg, Longer. Now that's a sweet little song. And, and, Along the Road. Fogelberg. Don't ever let them say bad things about Fogelberg. Only if you know, only if you have the information, can you speak anything about Dan Fogelberg. Dr. Hook and the Medicine Show, cover of the Rolling Stone, and Queen of the Silver Dollar, Columbia. Deck Records, T for Two Cha Cha, the Tommy Dorsey Orchestra, featuring starring Warren Covington, starring like he's in Santa Esmeralda or something. And my baby just cares for me. Again, Tommy Dorsey Orchestra, Warren Covington, starring. He's a big star. You've heard all about Warren Covington by now, for sure. He must have replaced Sinatra. You don't want to be the guy that replaces Sinatra. You want to be the guy that replaces the guy that replaces Sinatra. Okay, that's a, it's a losing proposition. 
However, you don't want to be the guy that replaced the guy that replaced David Lee Roth and Van Halen. Because then you're Gary Ridgway, Gary Sinise, or whatever that guy's name was. The one from Extreme, who was in the Van Halen band that wasn't no good. Gary something. Kasparov. Crown Records. You can't have your cake and eat it too by Tom, Dick, and Jemmy. And that's what I like by Don, Dick, and Jimmy. Don, Dick, and Jimmy. Brown Records. Late at night in the neighborhood and the high sight starts to go. Rod Stewart. Sonny. Uh, Sonny? That's not the hit. Rod Stewart, Young Turks. That's the hit. It's all about the Young Turks. That sink Uger and his Justice Democrats who hired this all these weird women to take over Congress. Young Turks and Ben Minkowitz, who despite being a crazed left wing liberal, still has his job on TCM. Armenian Genocide, no such thing. Young Turks. Zink, zink, yug, 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 That guy's kind of a jerk. Go back where you came from. Maggie May by Rod Stewart. And, uh, Reason to Believe by Rod Stewart. Reason to Believe is the good song on here. Maggie May, I'm kind of sick of hearing it. I was kind of sick of hearing it on about day two. Lionel Richie, Dancing on the Ceiling. Amusing trivia fact. I strongly dislike this song. Strong. The dislike is strong with this one. Mercury Records. Wabash Cannonball by Rusty Draper. And Are You Satisfied by Rusty Draper. Mm. Potatoes. Mercury. Okay. Dr. Hook of the Medicine Show. Making it natural. That's not the hit. And Sylvia's Mother. Huge hits. That was back in the day where nobody had cell phones. So you had to call and tell the operator 30 cents more for the next three minutes, please. And the mother, and she's moving, and she's happy, and I don't know what's going on. All right, on the first warm day, by Rosemary Clooney and Bacha Me by Rosemary Clooney. That's on Columbia. Rosemary Clooney, you were the, uh, what did she sell? What was that product she was affiliated with? Anyway, her nephew, George Clooney, Kind of a jerk. Bobby Venton, terrible Batman. He was awful. What are you kidding? Also, just between you and me, I mean, I know he was on Facts of Life. And that was a big deal. Okay? When I think George Clooney, Return of the Killer Tomatoes. That's where I first saw him. That's a hell of a movie. Bobby Venton, take good care of my baby. A nice original sleeve here. I'm guessing this was the one that uh, was also recorded by Bobby, Bobby V, who is not Bobby Venton. I'm guessing. I don't know. 
I can look at the songwriting credits and maybe it would help clear this thing up. Look, there is a Bobby Menton fan club in McMurray, Pennsylvania. Hmm. I wonder if it's still there. Literally no way to find out. Okay. This was written by people I don't know. Certainly not Bobby V. Hey, let's look at this again. Strange Sensations. Take good care of my baby. You know, this is it because this was co-written by uh, Carol King. It's a Goff, Goff and King joint. This is it. Makes me doubt whether Bobby V actually recorded that or not. I don't know. And there's no way to ever find out. It's a mystery. It'll stay a mystery forever. I don't want to hear anything, any reprisal. Hey, Bobby Benton, Roses are Red, My Love. That's a sad one. You and I by Bobby Benton. Bobby that makes you want to think of the movie Goodfellas. Whether it may have been Bobby Benton or it may have been Jerry Vale. And there's no way to know. Okay, Look Out the Window by Perry Como and Wanted by Perry Como. Well, that was the one where Perry Como had a six string tied to his back and he's going from town to town and uh, all he had was whatever. He might not make it back. He's wanted. Perry Como. Meet Mr. Callaghan by Les Paul. And Take Me in Your Arms and Hold Me by Les Paul and Mary Ford. Capital. All right. Uh, Chicken Reel by Les Paul. And Mockingbird Hill by Les Paul and Mary Ford. That's a famous song. Really popular. Big hit. It was in a jukebox. Hey, okay. Leave Me Alone, Ruby Red Dress by Helen Reddy. And The Old Fashioned Way. That's a missionary style by Helen Reddy. I believe she's Australian. Her best song is Angie Baby. I cover that almost every show. I speak about it and talk about it. And then I speak about it. Decca Records, Don't Let the Stars Get in Your Eyes by Red Foley. And Sally by Red Foley. Okay. All right. The Shifting Whispering Sands by Rusty Draper. And No Help Wanted. Rusty Draper. That's on Mercury. Okay. Foreigner, I Don't Want to Live Without You and Face to Face. One of Foreigner's lesser known 80s hits, I believe. Okay. Cold as Eyes by Foreigner. And I Need You by Foreigner. That was a huge, Cold as Ice was a huge size hit. Hey, Mr. Cotton Picker by Tennessee Ernie Ford. And these things, three things by Tennessee Ernie Ford. With Clifton Stone's Orchestra. Cliff, Cliffy Stone's Orchestra. It's on Capitol. It's number 17 in the jukebox. Blackberry Boogie by Tennessee Ernie and Tennessee Local by Tennessee Ernie. Not a huge Tennessee Ernie fan. Didn't find his appearances as Cousin Ernie on the Beverly Hillbillies amusing. Wasn't devastated and shaken when he sadly passed away. This was probably early 90s. Didn't have a great deep impact on me. There's no crater left in this heart. I just didn't, I didn't feel one or the other about the guy. It was like when Oliver Redenbacher died. 
thing about Oliver Rettenbacher, though, you think he was a millionaire, but he was buried in a pauper's grave. You see, I wrote that. Okay, Tommy Boy uh, Records, Force MDs, Tears, Vocal, and Force MD, Forgive Me Girl, Vocal. Vocal? Yeah. I don't know every one of those songs. I was probably listening to too much rock and roll to be listening to uh, R&B soul at that time, which hadn't quite given over to rap, but was in the process of selling its own soul to hip hop. Things have never been the same. I've got my own opinions. And you know, Whitney Houston had some nice songs. I didn't think she was a great singer. Anita Baker was a great songwriter, good singer, okay? You get on all people like Mariah Carey, Beyonce, these aren't singers. You're fooling yourself. You're kidding yourself, etc., etc. All right, and this is on a Rowdy Records. Ooh, it's Rowdy. A band called For Real. The saddest song I ever heard. Other side, like I do, and the band is for real. Rowdy Records. Wouldn't it be great if that was a label, private label run by Rowdy Roddy Piper or Rowdy Yates or Dot Records, Eddie My Love by the Pontane Sisters with Orchestra. Sis, it's ultra high fidelity. That's good. Okay, Yum Yum by the Fontaine Sisters, again with Orchestra. Ultra high fidelity. Dot Records. I believe Eddie My Love inspired the song Freddy But My Love, which was used in Grease on the Grease soundtrack. Um, I believe that's the way that works. I don't think it was a direct ripoff, but I think it inspired it. And I don't know the answer to that. And there's no way to find out. Don't even try. What are we kidding here? What are we, Wikipedia's? My name Wikipedia? It's not. Adorable by the Fontaine Sisters. Ultra High Fidelity. And this is with Billy Vaughn's orchestra. So you know that's good. That's damn good. daddy -o by the Fontaine Sisters with Billy Vaughn's orchestra. Uh, you know, the other one's just with orchestra. This was name brand Billy Vaughn's orchestra. They paid extra to get that guy. You don't just have Billy Vaughn. You gotta shell out. Satisfied Mind, Red Foley and Betty Foley. It's on deck. Huh? But with How About Me? And that's again those same people. Red Foley and Betty Foley. You know, the thing about Foley's is uh, to make extra money, they would uh, make sound effects for old radio shows. That's what Foley people did. These jokes ain't cheap. Okay, Chicago, feeling stronger every day. And Jenny. Okay, and uh, Jenny was written by Terry Kath. Okay, and uh, feeling stronger every day. This was 1973. Hey, Chicago, 25 or 6 to 4. Classic. Um, is that a Robert Lamb, I believe. Did he? Did he write that? Okay, and uh, where do we go from here? That was like Chicago 2, I believe. Chic, Le Freak, and Savoir Fair. Picture. Picture sleeve, not picture disc. 
Um, okay. Here in My Arms by Don Cherry. And Thinking of You by Don Cherry. I really like these sleeves. They got all kinds of little bitty writing on them. Probably way too small for me to actually read. Oh, it's got a little promotional things. Al Jolson, Oklahoma. You know, Gordon Jenkins. I don't know who that guy is. Band of Gold by Don Cherry and Rumble Boogie Don Cherry with Ray Conniff and his orchestra. So, you know, you, you get the other guy, his orchestra. What was his name? Anyway, Ray Conniff, though, was probably, like, really cheap to use his orchestra. He put out, like, a million albums. They weren't no good. In my opinion. Speaking of weren't no good, Gypsies, Tramps, and Thieves by Cher on Cap Records. You let the R off because it's Crap Records. Not a big fan of this song. That's your amusing trivia for the day. And We'll Never Know by Cher. Yeah. Who wrote Gypsies, Tramps, and Thieves? Bob... Stone, Stowe, mm. yeah. and somebody thought enough of this to put their own little sticky label on it. I love this record so much, I'm going to put my name on it. Will you come get it? Dark Lady by Cher. Two People Clinging to a Thread by Cher. Amusing trivial fact about Dark Lady by Cher. Don't like it. No, sir, I don't like it. This was not one of my happier boxes of the 45s. I'm just telling you right off the top of the bat. I ordered like three or four times from these guys, and most of the stuff was pretty good, but a couple of them, I question your judgment. I question it. Cheech and Chong, I'm not home right now. I, 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 it's MCA Records, and I was trying to find the uh, uh, 1985, so this must have been on that, uh, yeah, it's on the Get Out of My Room album. Not one of their better efforts. Decca Records, Amore by the Four Aces. And so long by the four aces. Okay, this was off the uh, Tomo Love album, I'm guessing. Uh, Bruce Springsteen, One Step Up. This is like, oh, uh, I'm married, I'm sad, I'm divorced, she's gone. I'm writing songs about it. He was uh, basically uh, the Taylor Swift of his time, except he wrote good songs and he could sing. But, look, he doesn't, you know, they're about the same in the chest area, in my opinion. Yeah, I said it. Come get me, Taylor Swift. Sue me. Bruce Springsteen War. Good God, y'all. What is it good for? I mean, absolutely nothing. Say it again. No. And with Merry Christmas Baby is on the back. I think Merry Christmas Baby got a lot more airplay. They're still playing that. War, they're not playing that. Except the Edwin Starr version, the original version. You know. Say it again, y'all. And Rosemary Clooney, where will the dimple be? And uh, Brahms Lullaby, Close Your Eyes. And that's a Rosemary Clooney with Percy, Percy Faith and his orchestra. And I was saying to Rosemary Clooney, look, you're going to record this. You're going to have this album going. And, you know, if you want to sell millions and millions of records with this album, 
stolen tactics. If you want to sell millions and millions of records with this 45, this is the guy you hire. You gotta have faith.